Welcome to the Going Rogue with Wes Whitlock podcast. All right, guys, I'm super excited today. I have somebody who I've admired for many years, just like many of you have, I'm sure, um, had her pictures on my wall. <laughs> All the Marines in the barracks were like, look at this lady here. Like, oh, yeah, that's my future girlfriend right there. <laughs> just kidding. But, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to have Monica Brandt here. She's in-house. We just had a great workout with one of her programs, Kick Mo's Butt. That's right. Kicked Mo's butt. Yes, we right. did that this morning, and and she, it was the other way around. Actually, she kicked my butt, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pay the price. But it was worth it. So I have Monica here. She's from Texas. She's you're originally from Texas, I right? I am. I am Texas born, bred, and all patriotic for Texas. Yes, yeah, she's she's um, everything Texas. All around cool, humble American uh, entrepreneur, businesswoman. Um, IFBB champion, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. all of the above. If you know, follow the fitness world, she's there. She's been there, and she's still uh, very active in that community. Um, so, yeah, I'm super excited to have you here. This is going to be quick because we um, she's on a timeline, and we're going to get her back here again. So uh, without uh, wasting any more time, um, uh, we welcome uh, Monica Brandt here to the Rogue Shop. So, yes, yes. awesome to have you. Thank you, Wes. I am so happy to be here. And I knew when I started working with Awesome Fit Magazine again, because we did three years of Kick Mo's Butt in the past when I lived up here. So every month we went to a different location, did the workout, filmed sometime. We did the filming and the photos, and then we would write, you know, I write the article about the workout in the magazine. And I had a lot of fans that followed Kick Mo's Butt. When I moved to San Antonio, we quit doing it. And this last year, tw the end of 2020, uh, publishers asked me, hey, can we start it up again? Because they wanted to um, showcase the locations here in Austin that are still active, that are working through, you know, the pandemic. <laughs> right. right. Yes. And, I like that. And that are still open and they're still available for people to come and get workout in. So we just, um, they asked if we could, uh, you know, bring Kickmo's butt back. And so this is my, well, this is my fourth time of course we were supposed to do a few weeks ago and we had this crazy snowstorm come through so um, right. happy to be here and it was a great workout i loved it and i want to come back so i can play with that stone again yeah yes <laughs> yes the stone Playing and not the, the, the you've taken the little baby one home I, with you, by yes, the way, so you can train yep. yes, <laughs> yes so no that it's it's a cool program which she's doing and um, you know, like, like Monica mentioned, you know, the, some of the gyms that have been able to stay open or people have gotten creative and working out at home or, mm -hmm. um, maybe going to different folks' pages, and get some inspiration on different types of workouts that they can do and not have to have a lot of space or right. equipment. Yeah. And you're um, outside. Yeah. And you're outside. You can social distance if you really want to, although, you know, we can't yep. really pull a truck very well with social distance right right yes <laughs> <Or> we, <push. laughs> yes yeah by the way yes you guys will have fun with uh where will people be able to see that so we did a workout this morning with kick Mo's butt and austin fit magazine right. um it will be out in austin fit magazine it's a digital magazine they used to have print but everything you know everything's gone digital now yep. so it is digital and we'll have some uh fun little pieces on um instagram and facebook but it also also be on my Instagram and my Facebook, which is Monica Brandt, or uh, Instagram is official Monica Brandt. So, yeah, it'll be fun. And of course, on your uh, platforms. Right? Yes, yeah, we'll have that up. We took a lot of a uh, lot of good photo, video content, fun stuff on the workout and um, and other uh, shenanigans from today. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it, it, it I it think it was like toy day here. It was fun. Yeah, we had a transformer. Big, big we had helicopters. A we helicopter. had. Uh, we, we, Monica lifted a car. I can't say I did you, it because I, yeah, I just kind of acted like I did it, but she lifted a, a 1970 Chevelle like, like it was like oh, a, yeah. a piece of toast. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we had, it was fun. So I hope you guys like it and, um, you know, make sure you check out, uh, Monica's pages. Um, I saw, um, I saw that you have also a show, Monica Brent show yes. you're working on. So when the pandemic Everything got shut down. My husband and I both decided we'll start something up. I let him go first to kind of work out some of the kinks. And then I'm like, okay. And he had, he was doing every day because, wow. you know, everything was shut down. We couldn't go to horses. He's in the horse business. So all horse shows and so forth. And 
So he's one of the first people in his business to have a show like this. So, um, and then I decided there was one day off that he wasn't doing. I'm like, Tuesday night. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do that. And I wanted to just start talking to all my old friends that I knew from the industry. I say my old friends, but you know, they're people that have built and created and, um, created the, in the bodybuilding and fitness industry that we have now. Right. So we're talking, um, Sandra, Sandra Blackie, um, uh, Lee Haney, Ronnie yeah. Coleman, Flex Wheeler. I'm going to have Corey Everson on soon. Flex Wheeler. Uh, I had uh, Linda Murray on <laughs> Linda Murray. And oh, of yes. course, then I'm bringing in like, um, Dan Solomon, who's the president of the Olympia right now. And, you know, we brought in different publishers and like the editor of uh, Muscle and Fitness for years. He was the editor of Bill Geiger. So, and of course, then I've got a lot of different athletes have come on. Um, so I'm, it's, it's really been fun. It's been different for me because I've always been the one being interviewed and not the interviewer. So I've had to kind right. of work I did, on my I did skills. see that over 100 international magazine covers, by the way. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yes, yeah. And you know what? Uh, I have a guy that's, I think he's in Russia, and he messages me, and he literally keeps sending me new, well, they're new to me, but they're you know older magazines from all over the world. And he's that you got probably these, didn't know about. Exactly. And that he, keeps, so cool. he keeps emailing me these new um you know, new images of covers that he's like, oh, and I don't know if he's put something out asking people if they, what they have, if they can send, but I've, I've gotten like 10 of them from him That's that wild. are all different countries and these covers I'd never seen before. And here they are. So, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I, that, and that's, you know, there's so much I want to get into with her. Um, and we don't have a lot of time, but that, cause that's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is, is, you know, a lot of times in, in life or business or whatever you may be doing, you, you're on a magazine cover, you got, everything's great. Like, um, oh, must, must be nice type of thing, but they, people don't see the work it took to get there. It didn't just exactly. happen overnight. The travel, the work, those photo shoots are long hours. You're on planes and traveling. Like, mm -hmm. There's a lot of work behind making that cover. It didn't, it was just like, right. I don't know, maybe for you, it was like, oh, this lady's <laughs> amazing. Here, get on my cover. But I'm sure you've been working your entire life to get, you know, I saw you, you've been, you were, uh, you ran track and you're an yeah. athlete and you, you rode horses, which I know is a lot of work involved with that. Um, and you know, I think that's probably part, part of your personality too. You, you are always doing Workhorse. something. Yeah. You're always working, <laughs> yes. you know, you yep. always have a good positive mental attitude. Um, you know, which is cool. It's really, and that's, it's, it's fun to be around folks like that. Um, and obviously you, you kind of surround yourself with, with folks like that. And like you said, with those guys in that world and what's happening and a lot of them have started businesses, supplement mm -hmm. businesses, uh, right. coaching, you know, um, they've had, they've had tragedies, things that's happened to them in their life too. Yes. Uh, like Flex Wheeler, you know, his leg was amputated. And so it, it was just interesting to have that conversation with him, kind of where he is in life right now, what he's doing, where his mental state is and. You know, those things, unless you have time to talk to someone, you don't know those things. I mean, you can kind of see their post on social media, but it's really unique, I feel, to be able to go in and talk to these men, right? And Ronnie Coleman, what I don't remember how many surgeries he's had. And, you know, he and I used to work together. Um, yes. Yep. You know, we were both 1998 Olympia champions the yeah. same our first year. Of course, yep. he kept winning and I didn't. But, um, you know, it was just really unique having these conversations. Uh, one conversation I'd really like to have on my show is Rachel McClish, but she has not agreed to do it yet. She's like, well, I'm not in the fitness industry anymore. I'm like, well, you helped create People want to know your story. Yeah. yeah so yes. I haven't been able to get her to understand what the purpose is of their show. But. I think a lot of people have that perception too, like whatever it is, like, and I've talked, oh no, I, I don't do that anymore. That was this. I was like, well, but you did amazing things. Like, yes. People want to hear yeah. how did you do that? How did right. you get there? What did you well, even like, after, like know? even Sandra Black Blackie, I mean, she's got a very cool story and what she's, and she's still in the industry now. She looks great and she's, I think she's in her late fifties um, and she's, you know, working with people and helping, you know, helping people get healthy and she's got a great attitude and, you know, she was all over the magazines back then as a yep. female, one of the fe first female bodybuilders. So it's just really fun to kind of step into those. I've got Corey Everson coming up. I'm excited about. Talking oh about yeah, it. she was. And I don't know, smoke you know, show too. Yeah. Do you All remember right. Trish uh, Trish Stratus? She was a muscle mag. <laughs> if I saw her picture, I probably would. She was would. a beautiful muscle mag um, fitness model. Wow. Uh, Robert Kennedy had her all over his magazines, and she went on to do WB, 
WWE. Uh, WWE. Oh, wow. So she's one of the top um, female wrestlers. She's retired now. But, you know, we go way back to the fitness industry, traveling with Robert Kennedy from Muscle Mag International. And yep. then she went on to do that. And so I'm excited. We're going to have her on the show That's... as well and just kind of reconnect over, you know, the past and what she's done with her career going into the whole wrestling thing. And right. That's no, taken that's, her. no, that's that's awesome to see uh, folks kind of transition to the different things. And mm -hmm. as you know, when you whatever world you're in, you know, d different opportunities do present right. themselves right. and say, oh, I'm going to go down. There. I never thought I was going to get into wrestling or whatever. Right. That, Next thing you know, they're there or, or, you know, as long as they're pursuing something and, and taking on new challenges and trying new things and not being afraid to try new things. Um, but I think you find that kind of um, parallels run within a lot of folks that just move that way. They, you know, and that's another thing I wanted to get into you with, you know, on our next more um, is like your mindset. Like what is, do you take things? So there's people that take things like every day. I'm just going to own today. I'm not going to think about the future. I'm not going to, I'm just going to own what I can right now and do the best with what I have during this day. Mm -hmm. Or are you like a more, a visionary, a big picture person? Do you plan everything out? Um, and you've probably had your times where if you've had failures, which everyone sure. who succeeded in some way has failed probably numerous times before they got there. Right. You know, what's kind of your, is it spiritual? Is it is it is is it um, praying? Is it religious? Is it something inside of you? Is it what what's that drive that kind of pushes you like towards that 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 winning positive attitude that you that you have? Is that something you want to dive in today? Yeah, yeah, no, we sorry, to yeah, that, touch that, on that, it. yeah, you know yeah, what? just a quick like yeah, yeah. there's so much to dive into really. So yeah. it's just the tip of the iceberg really, and I love to talk and share so. Um, I'll just say that a uh, couple things about me. Um, I'm 50 now, so I've been, you know, doing my my business since I was 19, and so awesome. I never dreamed that I would be in the fitness industry like this. Like I didn't know anything about bodybuilding. I went to my my last two years of high school. My mom put me in a Christian private Christian school, which I really am thankful. That's where I met my husband. Although we didn't get married back, we got married 20 something years later. Kind wow. of funny, wow. right? So <laughs> it's fun. That, that's a whole nother fun story. But um, I remember asking my mom because one of our, I think my, I think one of the ba the basketball coach or something. Um, I wasn't in basketball, but he worked at a gym, and I was a, I remember I was a senior in high school there, and we only, I mean, we had twenty four people in our graduating class. It was really small, and the coach there was like, "Hey, if anyone wants to come, I think he was also the Bible Bible teacher and." basketball coach but I remember him telling you know hey if anyone wants to come to the gym I work at the gym in the evenings if after school if anyone wants to come by the gym and work and I remember asking my mother this and my mom said you are not allowed in the gym it's where men pick up girls oh so this is just kind of a remember <laughs> tip, of the, probably right, this is tip of the iceberg right <laughs> yes story oh, it's funny. there's so much fun history um so I remember her in high school saying that and look where my careers led me through gyms all around the world Right. right. And then the other thing I laugh about a little bit is my mom and I fought so much over swimsuits growing up because I grew up at Medina Lake, all lakes all the time. Oh, is it the water, water? skiing? Yeah. You know, we camped out. We have a lake. My dad is a lake house still at Medina Lakes. And, and he has a 1969 Oldsmobile. I found right, out, by the way, today right, that right. I want to see a picture of. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a cool guy. Yeah. I'm a Harley guy. Well, my dad's yeah. third generation West Point graduate, too. Dang. So we got some, we got a lot of cool military history Love in it. our past as well. So, um, so anyways, my mom and I fought over, and I'm sure it's because I probably had, you know, I had a decent physique in high school. I was, a, I was an athlete. And I've never been overweight or anything. So my mom was, you know, concerned about me being, you know, conservative and covering up. And so right. every year it was a fight over these stupid bathing suits. And so I, <laughs> I remember. Can imagine, especially when you're like on covers of international well, magazines. But, but you know, that, like, but, oh, this is later on. We're talking course. high school. Oh, okay. We're talking so back there in had the a bit 80s. Of transition there. In the 80s. Every summer my mom and I fought over bathing suits. Right. Because Daisy she, Dukes, she always probably. she always wanted me to wear like you know low cut high high necks all these things. So, well, they don't make swimsuits like that, except they make swim like official swim suits. You know, like you someone would race and swim. Right, in. right. You know, they come up to like here and they come real low and they're. And I remember one year she's like, "Here we were at the sporting goods because we're just tired of looking for swimsuits. We never could agree on one." And she says, "Go put this on," because she thought it came up high. And I was, I put it on and I was like, "They're so tight." 
like they're miserably tight when they're supposed to be, right? right. For when you're racing right. in the water, you need them tight. You don't want well. So I remember putting it on and I hated it because it was so tight. I was so miserable. And I'm like, I am not going to wear this. I'm just going to wear shorts. I don't care. So she's, you know, she actually put it on. I don't know if she thought, I think she thought it looked good on me. So she tried it on and she was like, yeah, right. It's really tight. That was the <laughs> summer that she finally let me get like kind of a floral one piece that had a little height on the hips. And, you know, she allowed me to pick something out and she kind of chilled out, but I was not allowed a bikini ever. Wow. So again, <laughs> look where my career right. has been. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. but but, you know my mom's uh she's you know loves what i've done over there but i I mean i could see that as a dad too i would be the same my dad wasn't like that but my mom was i I could but you know it's one parent always has to be kind of conservative and one parent's just like whatever just you know good. so i'm going to just kind of circle back to your question um there's so much underneath i think who i am and at 50 now like you know so many great experiences so many things that i've learned um you know through business, through relationships, and I guess learning about myself. And one thing I know about me is I'm a learner, and I like to learn things. I like to learn things. Um, peop- I like to learn about people. So I have this, just this genuine interest in people and in things, workout things, uh, faith-filled things. Like I'm just, I, I like to suck up information, and I like to learn about people. And so it's a genuine thing, and that's when I look back at all the stuff I've done, I, I am competitive to some degree, but it's always, there's always a purpose that I'm learning something and then it's, you know, taken me down this route. So it was just kind of interesting that I, you know, ended up in the fitness industry and being able to do what I've done, but I'll, I'll just credit, you know, God probably had this plan for me and allowed me to have a platform. My heart's always been for God, for the Lord. And, um, you know, I haven't obviously been perfect in my life. And I thank the Lord every day that he protected me when I wasn't walking down the path I should have walked down yeah. and has allowed me to be where I am today and still have a career, still have fans, still have people that are you know, interested in, like yourself, having me around and doing things in Austin Fit Magazine. And I work with another magazine called Bodyscape Magazine and um, do a lot of lifestyle coaching and I do some spiritual development for a group of women. And so kind of do a lot of different things. And I work with my husband at the barn as well. And we have a giant horse uh, training business for all quarter horse related horse shows and so forth. So kind of do a lot of stuff, but um, yeah, it'd be fun to kind of dive in and talk a little bit more about those things. Cause I know. Yeah. It's interesting. Right? No, it's, it's uh, you, I know you're busy and that's one thing I've noticed too with you and just being around a lot of different people in, in my life as well. And kind of um, you know, you've, you've all, you've been, you're a uh, very gen, you are a very genuine person. Thank like you. you see that right away. And I remember even the first time, um, the first couple times meeting you, like, and then one time at the Arnold, which I didn't really know that many people there. It was one of my first times being there, and we were a new business. Mm-hmm. But you took the time. You're like, hey, I'm, you're bringing people over. Hey, yeah. you got to meet this guy and meet yeah. this guy. I was like, wow. And like, not wanting anything. Like, dude, she's really nice. Like, just <laughs> genuinely connecting us because she's just, you know, so I always, I always admired that. Um, when I, you know, you meet a lot of people and it's, it is very selfish about them or whatever. I get it. But I, I noticed that from the beginning with you, I was like, man, that's dude, that's Monica Brandt. And she's, we're nobody here. Like I literally have a Coleman tent and like two guys, <laughs> you know, we carried this stuff out of our trunks. I remember. Yeah. And then, uh, you came over and we're bringing, you know, big names over and introducing me to people. And so, you know, I always appreciated about you and always saw that genuine side to you. And, and then for this to happen, which has been great, we've been trying to get this to happen the weather happened but um i know i know you're um i know how busy you are and i know you got to get going but I, we're again, gonna come back yes we're gonna get we you get, back yeah because i want to hear about, about all I, I love your the business stuff the entrepreneurship the mentorship and um, so all these things about. yeah that i think a lot of people will really be able to get a lot out of you know and you're our first female guest so hey look, starting off with one of the heavy hitters awesome. yeah so again thank you for the workout <laughs> awesome, today awesome. had a blast and well, i'm gonna be um, writing about it yeah yeah and once that's ready it'll, it'll be an article that comes out in austin fit magazine so awesome. and then we'll be able to push that out through our social media and share yes. it and um, and then I want to have you on my show. Awesome. Yes. I will get to interview <laughs> I love to. you. Yes. Yes. I would, I, I would love that. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to 
to listen to all your other stuff and um and uh you know once this stuff's ready we'll let you guys know we'll put some stuff out and Perfect. we got a lot of cool stuff from today some content so we'll put some stuff up to let you guys kind of see the fun the fun that went down and That's right. um yeah thanks again monica um a pleasure to have you here you always have a home here and thank um you. always consider you a, a great a great person i was uh, lucky to 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 meet so thank you for your time and coming in and you guys check her stuff out she's freaking awesome um <laughs> i guarantee it you'll like all the stuff that she's about so uh, we'll do more of this again soon awesome. and get get right. you guys some really fun um some so, fun inside so uh, people can find me i've got a new website coming out monicabrant.com has been down for about a year but i am relaunching it soon um official monica brandt on instagram march 2020 my instagram was stolen and so i lost everything so Jeez. it's been rebuilding you know, so, so go over there and check, follow her page rate. and support her. Yes. And then uh, Facebook, Monica Brandt. I do have a Monica Jean Brandt, which is my private, but you know, it's full. I got to delete people. got add people on, but I do have the public one, Monica Brandt. And then lastly, my YouTube channel, we're just trying to get it up and rolling more. Uh, it's been there for a long time and that's where I'm hosting my shows now. So you can go see all of my past episodes. You can either go to the Monica Brandt show.com website and pull the shows from there or if you're on YouTube, it's just, I think it's Monica Brandt Fan TV. My social media person just changed it up. So she's renovating it some. So easy to find. You can see all the past, hear all the past. And we'll see in here because it, it is audio and, and, and visual. And visual. Awesome. Visual. I can't so wait to you. get on thanks, there and Wes. check them out. Yeah. Thanks, Monica. Um, boom. <laughs> yeah, that was great. She kicked my butt today. Like hey. I said, let's kick Wes's butt. So, yeah, we had Wes's fun. Butt. So, yeah, we'll thanks. And, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. All yeah. Right, thanks, thanks Monica. Thank you.